back in the room. Yeah, okay, so we've uh, put that assembly back on. Wheel runs nice, fully through that. So we're going to use a torque wrench. Recommended torque is 34 newton meters, which I've set that for. So we just gently put that on. That's torqued. And that one, beautiful. Okay, so that assembly now is ready for putting back together and we're going to bleed the system. Right, so we've got all the brakes back on, we've got new pads in, everything's looking funky except for this. <laughs> this we've lost so much fluid and it'll have a ton of air in so we're going to bleed air out of the system. If I take the top off the hydraulic reservoir we'll find underneath these is a a piece of plastic and a, a bit of diaphragm as well just to keep the uh, keep it from getting air in so two bolts out in the parts bin top should just come off we rub round in the parts bin plastic seal put your finger under that smash in yep so we'll put that back there I don't want to lose that and last is a rubber seal. Okay, so let's put that back together, and that's going in there as well. And okay, you guys, you see the reservoir is virtually empty under there, so we shall fill it up with some brake fluid, <coughs> which I have handily knocking about on the shelf. Not a lot of room to move in this garage, unfortunately, but that's what I've got. So we'll fill that up, stick to the top, keep that somewhere safe, it's not going to get knocked over, <coughs> and just bump away. I've made a little brake bleeder, so all you need really for this is a length of tube, I'll just put that for storage, a length of tube and a jar, you see where I've used, used it before, okay so the uh, one edge of this. This is just to catch the, uh, the brake fluid, guys, really. Stop it going all over the place. So, the bleed nipple, I'm going to keep the, it's important to keep the wheel straight or the handlebars facing forward because obviously it rocks from side to side when the handlebars go backwards and forwards and it's going to spill that brake fluid. I don't want it going over the tank, I don't want it going on the engine, in fact, I want it to stay right where it is in there. So, I will attach this. Just shove it over the the bleed nipple. Right, so it's uh, important to keep this topped up because if this reservoir runs out, we're just basically going to be pumping air into the system, which is just what we don't want to do. So I've got the uh, the tube on the bleed nipple, and all it does is just dropping down into this collection jar. Okay, so I'm opening the bleed valve. You see all that air coming through there, and then I'm going to pump away. We can see brake fluid coming out, but it's full of bubbles, and we just want to keep going at that. All right, get all that because that's all the air that's in the system at the moment. And keep pumping that out. I'm keeping an eye on the the brake reservoir as well. I don't want to run out. We're coming down about half. So we've had both sides off today, and um, basically the system is empty. Uh, so we're effectively replacing all the, the brake fluid uh, and just nip that up, stop air coming back in and just keep topping up ok, and then we'll do it all again like that, open the brake valve uh, sorry, the, uh, the bleed valve and start pumping away and once that is pumping clear fluid through clear brake fluid without any bubbles in it, we're somewhere near on that side ok, keeping an eye on the fluid level right, loads and loads of bubbles coming out of that superb yeah, because air compresses quite easily and liquid doesn't Drop in here. See the colour of that. Yeah, it's full of 
crap, basically, and all the rubbish that was in the system. So we'll come back to that one. And it's just a question of repeating that on the other side. Keeping an eye on the, the reservoir, keeping it topped up. A bit this side, a bit that side, a bit this side, until uh, we get brake pressure back up again. And we find that the, the brakes work. Okay. It's very important that when you, you nip the, the valve up, you've got the the, uh, the lever fully in, okay, because it's shoving the, uh, the liquid in. Okay, if you've got it there, it gives it a chance to suck air back in through the bleed nipple, which is what, not what we want. So, once we finish pumping away, hold that in, nip it up right quick, and round to the other side. Okay, so I know there's plenty of air still in it, because of that. <laughs> So fill that up, and around the other side, more of the same. Okay guys, so uh, we're nearly done, so we're just bleeding the system now, my able assistant has gone in, because it's cold, and it, and it is cold, that's done it, uh, motorcycle maintenance uh, during the great British winter is not for everybody, it is for me, I like it, <sighs> some breath, <laughs> Okay, so it's just a question of uh, bleeding each side out. Ugh, that's almost done. And the other side. Again, it's just a, a question of a little bit, little bit each side, a little and often. Um, you can see air's all out. Start to feel resistance then on the uh, the, the um, brake lever, and it's just a question of uh, a little bit either side until you've got full resistance and uh, top it all up, make sure everything's tight, torqued up to what it should be and uh, the job's a good one. Hope that's been helpful.